Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard drive. Uh, throughout the last years, there's been a little issue, just like everything has issues, with the 955s and 655s. It's if you notice that you have to turn the volume pot further to hear the same amount that you heard the day before, or all of a sudden the volume's going lower and lower. There's an easy fix for it for some people. If you bought the radio from me, new, if you can't do this, cool. Lick it, stick it, pack it, your name on the outside, and I'll ship it right on back. But if you can do this, Craig, yeah, I'm doing this one for you. If you can't do this, don't attempt it. You'll end up with more hoodoo and voodoo problems you can shake a stick at. But it is simple. If you're used to dealing with fragile things. It's not a fragile radio, it's just you can't tear it apart. It has to do with this ribbon cable here. Similar to a ribbon anyways. And this potentiometer right here. Okay? That's the volume squelch pot and wiper. On and off. Volume squelch. The power and the volume squelch. Those are all the pins. Well, Usually, and every single time that, that I've experienced the problem of the volume, it's been on this side and or over here, okay? You could usually tell just by touching the wires which side it's going to be on. You might take it upon yourself to clean them all. If you don't have the high dollar contact cleaner, go to Home Depot. Do not use WD. 40. No, 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 okay? Eight, nine bucks, something like that. Contact cleaner, Home Depot. Psst, psst. Put it back together, put the lids on, done, okay? No WD 40. And no pliers are ripping the wires off by your fingers. No. Something like this. I've had this thing for eons. Right. Which all you'd have to do is you know, kind of watch me. So you don't cause more problems. You don't want to be moving these wires around, all right? You don't want to be tugging on them, pulling on them, jacking with them. No, don't do that. More problems later. I don't know why this one, I've seen it in the camera through here. This one appears to have been worked on through there. I don't, I don't know why. Factory, I have no idea. There's a couple burn marks on this one from a soldering iron see it on the plastic irrelevant to this video but it's just there so what you do is kind of get these out of the way a little bit don't bend them because there's like pins and prongs that the wire is the has the female part and the bottom side is the male part so if you sit there and start doing this shit to them you'll loosen them up don't do that but an easy way to get these off is if you have something like this if you have the right tool to reach in there pop it off like a CPU tool. Hey, awesome, great. But if you don't have that, and come in here like this. I think I could get it with the camera. Don't use the wire. Use the foot like that, like right, right there so it goes up against the plastic. Lift that end. Get your little screwdriver on the other side. I'm trying to use the camera and look at it that way. And get on the other side of it. Lift it up a little bit. It should be loose. Okay? Now, gently get it, don't bend it, change its form or shape, get it out of the way. That's it. Take a breath, all right? Go get your contact cleaner. No open flames or nothing. I'm not trying to act like anything weird, just saying it. No open flames. Cigarettes in the ashtray six inches away. Otherwise, you can have some other voodoo going on, all right? Hold on. So, uh, it's pretty simple. Depending on the brand you buy, the nozzle, how fast it comes out, all that kind of stuff. Practice first, you know, somewhere else. You know? And then come to this. Right on them. Just right over it. Don't soak the heck out of the radio. Just, psh, all right? It's going to be nice and wet. It's going to run off. Maybe a second later, pssst, clean it off. Come over to this one. 
gently just gently don't bend stuff a lot gently get it to where you know your sprayer is going to spray all of them straight on in just you don't want to try to pull it over the radio so it don't get wet don't even bother the only other way you're going to do that is to cut all the zip ties i don't recommend that and then pulling them out putting them back in you don't have to do that the contact cleaner is not going to destroy the radio just don't soak it and then you can just dab it up you know Psst. okay make sure they all get wet it's going to evaporate kind of quick but yet it's still going to be wet you want to put it together while it's wet other plugs you put them together take them apart put them rapidly you know clean them clean them separate them again spray it but you don't want to do that to these while it's still kind of moist and wet get it back in there get it positioned just right don't jack it in sideways make sure it's all nice and straight the way it was the way it fit set it in there okay get your little tool whatever you got pop it in voila you're done do not rip on the wires bad voodoo gonna happen if you're comfortable you could do them all okay See them? But be very careful. If you're having troubles with it, you're my customer. Just, uh, yeah, you know what to do. Hope this is informative. Did you learn anything? Click subscribe. Keep me motivated. Stay tuned in. You know what it is.